What's going on YouTube? This is what we Josh do and I've got a video for you guys today. So the Note 4 and the S6 have fingerprint scanners and with the Note 4 I have to swipe my finger down and it works almost every time. I would say a majority of the times, most times, it works just fine. I can unlock it and it works the first time. And I've also got my other thumb registered here. So boom, look at that, first try. It's just fluid and it works really well. I use it to unlock my phone. I I can't tell you how much better that is, in my honest opinion, than putting in a pattern that someone might be looking over your shoulder and memorizing and you just swipe your finger down and you unlock it. I, I much prefer that over patterns or anything else. We're gonna go ahead and do that on our S6 here. So let's go ahead and dive into the settings and we'll go to lock screen and security, screen lock type. We will go to fingerprints and it says in order to do it, your fingerprint must be added and stored to your device. After adding your device, you can, okay, cool. So place your finger on the home key, lift it and repeat. Move finger upwards and downwards slightly between attempts, okay? try this. This will be the first time doing this on this phone. So far I'm liking that it's just a tap. I don't have to slide it. Just trying to... Okay, the whole thing's filling in as I'm doing it. So, Place the tip of your finger on the home key and then lift it off. If adding thumbprint, refer to guide. Okay. We'll just change the direction of a little bit. There we go, 100% is complete. Please insert a code. Must be one letter and one letter. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. After you put in the password you wanna use in case your fingerprint's not working or you've lost your thumb or something, I don't know. Uh, show content, hide content. I do like to hide it so that people can't just see my notifications without doing it. So there we go, let's go to fingerprints and add some more. So fingerprints, place your finger on the home key to verify your identity. Well, that was very quick. I like that. So we'll add a fingerprint and we'll do our other thumb here. You just wanna slightly raise it and lower it each time, not very much. And you will get it, it just takes a second. I kinda of like that it wants you to do it so many times so it can get all the different, you know, variations of your thumb oh man i always do this thumb in case i'm using my left hand and i need to unlock it real quick and i'm going to add one more fingerprint for my index finger here pointer finger whatever whatever finger this is <laughs> all right so we went ahead and added that oh you can add another one you can add more than three that is really freaking cool uh, verify Samsung account, okay. Web sign in, that's pretty cool. Also, PayPal supports it, I believe. So we'll go ahead and lock our phone, and then we'll go to unlock it, and it will want me to put in my thumbprint. And it unlocked it. That was super awesome, I like that. I, I definitely prefer that over swiping my finger down, which isn't that bad, but you have a, if you have a case on it, it can make it a little bit harder to cover the whole thing well with this one you just put your finger out that is awesome i'm really really liking that and my unboxing i was a little bit disappointed because i thought this was going to be just like the s4 the s5 and many other samsung phones that have not been the greatest but so far i am really enjoying this phone i'm loving the size of it it feels compact but not tiny there's no lag between switching between your apps that are open. It's just, I'm really, really liking this phone so far. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. The like button's to the bottom right of the video player. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay in touch with me to see what videos are coming out next and etc. This is What Would Josh Do and I am out.